And we're back to learning Inkscape and this time I'm going to show you how to use the Bezier tool. This is kind of like the pen tool in Illustrator if you know that. B is the short key and it has a couple of modes and a drop down for shapes. The first mode is regular so you can left click and create these lines. Just close your path and you can also create curves by simply left clicking and dragging. So it gives you these handles and you can adjust the angle with it. You can also start by left clicking and dragging. Another helpful tip is you can hold control and it will snap. You can create these straight lines very easily with it and you can also click drag and then hold control to have your handle snap to certain angles and it helps you in creating these curved lines. The spiral path mode, simply left click and it creates these curves automatically and they're adjusted in real time. Next mode, the B spline path mode, it kind of looks like it's the same as the former, but it's not. It can also be used to create these spirals or curved lines. Well, let me create a rectangle, I'll hold control here. Let me give that a black stroke. And now I use the Bezier tool with both of these modes. And you can see the difference. First the spiral. I just go to the anchor points. I've got the snapping enabled. And I simply left click. And the spiral creates this circle on the outside. And a B spline. I go to the same exact nodes. Left click. And it creates a circle on the inside. So this is basically the difference between these two modes. Next mode is for straight lines. So when you know you only have a sequence of straight lines, use that mode. And it doesn't matter if you click and drag, you can't create handles. All of your lines will be straight. The next mode is for straight lines that have a specific 90 degree angle. So you can set the angle for the first two nodes, but from then on it's only 90 degrees. So you can go to plus or minus 90 degrees here, but you can't use any other angles. So what about this drop down? You gotta be honest and say that I've never used it before. I always set it to none, but you can add a triangle in. And if you now create a triangle, it automatically creates that shape. So it gives you a black fill in this case. The only shape that's kind of interesting is the ellipse shape. So even if I create a triangle and not an ellipse, it gives us interesting results. And if you add curved lines, it adds a certain stroke effect to it. And you can also use that with different modes. So for example, the spiral mode. And these are the basics of how to use the Bezier tool in Inkscape. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.